G'day everyone, my name is Elvin Powell. You're watching Adventuring Pals. I hope you're all well and thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, we are going to show you. Sorry, just a little kid walking here in front of me. So, in this video, we are going to be showing you the Tahoon Airwalk, which is where we are right now. But apart from that, we actually started the day off at the Margate uh, Pancake Train, which is an awesome way to fill our bellies up for the adventure we had on today. As well as that, we stopped in at Hearts Mountain to check out Arv Waterfall. That was a beaut as well. And now, right now, we are here. But if you're going to come here for a day trip from Hobart like we did, don't do what we did and get too distracted on the way here. We only came here at about 2.30 and there's a lot to do here. But luckily, for the same price, you can get re-entry tickets at no extra cost, which is great. So we will definitely be coming back here. But for today, we're just doing the air walk and see how much else we can squeeze in. So even though it may be up high, there's actually no stairs to get onto the air walk, which means you can bring your wheelchair or your strollers along. So why don't you come along for a ride with us and let's go. Go everybody. We are here at Margate Train. This is really cool. It's like an old decommissioned train and all the carts are little shops. One of the carts is a pancake shop. So that's what we're going to do today, this morning. We're going to get a big feed of pancakes because we're going to do the Tahani Skywalk today. So looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, like I said, get a tummy full of some nice pancakes and then we get on with it. Show you around this train a little bit. And it's, pretty, it's really, really cool. The kids are loving it here, so it's good. Climb in there, have a look around, touch things, which is yeah, pretty cool. You can see the big hopper there where the coals put it in and shovel them into there, into there, to get the uh, steam going. Really cool. I know, we just filled our bellies full of some awesome pancakes at the pancake train. How would you like it? So yummy. Oh mate, it was good. You're definitely going to try it guys if you're out near Hobart. It's only 25 minutes from Hobart City, so it's good. Yeah, it was pretty quiet in there. Good enough for the kids. Yeah, check it out one day, hey? It's good. Alrighty guys, we're in the Hearts Mountain. We're just going to go yeah, check out this waterfall. It's a Arvfall. Uh, RV4 or something like that. A R V E is how it's spelled. It's supposed to be a 20 minute return from the car park. Uh, we are still on our way to the uh, Tahini Skywalk. It's just uh, one of the kids fell asleep when we were just like 10 minutes away. So we decided to take a detour, drive through the Hearts Mountains. Beautiful drive. You can see the beautiful mountain peaks there behind us. And yeah, so we're going to go just to see the sign for this waterfall. We're going to check it out. Just come along with us, eh? Let's go. So. It is a little bit cold. We didn't think it was too bad. And then we pulled over and uh, saw a little stream, except it had ice over it. 
<laughs> Have a go at this. <laughs> Not even a thin piece of ice. It's cool, so it's probably, you know, I think uh, last time I saw the temperature was about 4 degrees, so it's probably going to be a bit cooler than that, because we climbed up a bit more. But yeah, it's uh, still good. It's not too bad, we have to worry about it. It's just put a nice jacket on, we're good to go. So I made it to Ivy Fall, this beautiful, good little walk. Uh, it's very good, it's um, nicely path. It's a uh, gravel, sort of a gravel path. So even if it's wet, there's still plenty of traction there. Yeah, I highly recommend it, it's not far at all. Okay guys, we're back at the car park where the um, Ivy waterfall is. And if you drive down the road a bit, there's another car park and you can walk down to a nice lake. It's about a 50 minute return walk, 5-0. Um, but we're not going to have time to do that today because we really want to go check out this air walk. So, yeah, but in case you're wondering, yeah, you can do that. Oh, wow. Look at this. Waratah Lookout on Hearts Mountain. Wow. How beautiful. You can see all the fog in the valleys. That's where we came from, where all that fog is. Came all the way up, up to Hearts Mountain. You can see that waterfall.
Have a go at how big this tree is. This is insanely big. That's not even the big part. Here's the trunk of it here, the base of it. Man, it's a monster. A big tree over there, and there's big trees everywhere. Another big one down there, and they're all four of them over. Probably too far damaged from the fires that came through. It's a bit sad, isn't it? In January of 2019, a bushfire devastated the site of the Tohuni Airwalk. Fireys worked hard to save the information centre and some of the accommodation sites. However, it took 13 months of hard work to get the Airwalk up and running again. Well guys, we made it to the end of the Tahani Bridge Airwalk. It's friggin' awesome. I'll tell you what, right at the end here is like the suspension bit. And, I, and I'm going to tell you the truth. And I'm a little bit peeping myself right now, especially when my wife is bouncing up and down, making this thing shake, scaring the crap out of me. But definitely worth it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe for future content just like this. I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for spending your precious time watching our video. We are a family with two young kids and we have been working and traveling our way around Australia since March 2019. We share with you our trip so you can see that it's very possible to travel with young kids. We also share with you some tips that we've learned along the way, making traveling with kids a little bit easier. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel for future videos we upload every week. Thank you very much.